I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. I really am sorry. Really. I'm sorry, too. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody, really. This is where we buried Ten Sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? No. Let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? No, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done. Guys, earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? 
Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? His dad was killed by some asshole. And his mom? A long story. Sad story. Hey, I win! Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. Never. Not even once? Never. Uh, I win. So... Clem. You can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way, too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is going to die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> well, I know. I don't know. You? Probably? Why probably? You asked a morbid question. There's your morbid answer. Oh, shit. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, 
tonight. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Guys, relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool, too, up there against those walkers. 
Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> Hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be okay, I promise. Okay, okay, you can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay, good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah, I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah, me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. 
Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. She'll lie down, Rosie. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Yeah, well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or...
disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Huh. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. <sighs> 